some more of that stuff. A friend of mine had given me a call that he was going to be playing down in Alabama, right. and so I thought, "Wow, there's a cool, uh, there's a cool place to play." And he said, "Guess where I'm playing? Florence, Alabama, which is very close to Muscle Shoals, right. which we all know <laughs> Muscle Shoals is musically." So we were able to fly down and spend some time with him, and spend some time at Muscle Shoals. Nashville and Memphis and that was right sort of in the middle of uh, putting the music together for this album when you're down there as a musician you know as a songwriter you really feel it you feel it in the walls and so you want to take it as much as you can right. and bring it back the album is has a bit of homage to that but it also has a bit of that soul because we were actually there right and uh, when we came down to picking the final tunes, and that's when I brought John Ellis in. Uh, we noticed that there was so much of that vibe on the record, and we tried to tried to nurture that, nurture bit, yeah, that, yeah. nurture it, and get it into the music. So who's Buffalo Bill? Who's Buffalo Bill? Interesting. Buffalo Bill? Well, the story is about about a guy who's lost, and he's washed up in this hotel, and he's looking out the window, and he doesn't know where he's going to go. And he's waiting for something to come and save him. My beer just makes me cold. I ain't got no tickets for the train. I guess she was just using me. Man, it makes you old. I hope this waitress don't know tears from rain. When you buy the album, uh, you'll see that it's the sides are first floor and second floor. All the songs are room numbers, and who's residing in those rooms? There's uh, and it's a lot of a lot of wayward souls, and aren't we all really on the road? On that, tell us about Lonesome Angel. Well, Lonesome Angel is based on uh, the story of uh, Taylor Mitchell, a young songwriter who who was 18 or 19 years old and passed away long before her time on her first road trip. And I wanted to pay homage to her and songwriting. Born to haunted lullabies that tangle with the clouds From the house of angels her words came pouring down Six strings and ancient things weaving dark refrains Songs like velvet arrows Falling somber rain Summer in the shadows on a midnight road She's strumming on a blue guitar Singing the last heartbroken song Yeah, John and I have known each other for 20 plus years and uh, John is a super talented musician and really talented producer and all-around great guy and we were able to put this time and place together for him to come over and work with me on this album and I'm so glad that it worked out mm -hmm. because his talents were able to direct this this group of songs to where they needed to be. In the cool light of morning I'm on the bridge down across Mission River I left her in her dreams, smithereens, the dawn slowly seeping in. The clock ticking time, hers and mine, off that bedside table. I just couldn't play pretend, and so I ain't going back again. So it's been a great journey for you, and this is the, wonderful the culmination of a lot of things, and it's be very proud. Everything down to this point, right now. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy about this album, and really, really uh, happy I was able to work with the people that I did mm. and bring these tunes together. And uh, hopefully, you'll love it too. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Kim. Got nothing to defend, so I ain't going back again.